Hello everyone, welcome back. Mage here with some more Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, apologies, not had a video on this in a few days. Uh, I've had some things going on and a dentist trip that ended up making my mouth incredibly numb all over and I spent most of the day dribbling on myself, so couldn't really record. Uh, because, yeah, I didn't finish the game, obviously, when I wanted to, when I said I'd finish it today, that never happened. Um, I didn't realize how long this game is, it just keeps on going, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. To the Forbidden Corridor! But wait, Harry has never broken a rule in his life. We can't go to the Forbidden Corridor. It's forbidden! So, thanks for watching everyone, hope you've enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Uh, no, really, we're, we're gonna go do it. Um, Harry don't give a shit. So we learned last time a transfiguration uh, spell. Which let us access this upper area, which was basically a glorified levitation spell. Still think uh, McGonagall's running a bit of a bit of a dishonest uh, classroom there, and we're locked in. And oh boy, it's old bloody Walter Frey or Filch. Well, now students aren't allowed in here, are they? You don't say. There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time. Excuse me, Filch. Aren't you just like the caretaker? I don't think you can expel shit, mate. But... Also, bloody Mrs. Norris, ugh. Um, surely if you wanted this place, you know, if you didn't want any students getting in, why didn't you just lock the damn door? I don't get it. Right, so we've got a stealth section coming up, guys. It's Metal Gear Potter. And uh, we've got to avoid filth, because we did get, after a massive chase with Peeves, our invisibility cloak. Ooh! He nearly saw me. Bloody hell, that wouldn't have been a good start. So, um, we've got to jump from bookcase to bookcase. Uh, getting these invisibility power ups as we go. They don't last very long. Bloody hell, those books are massive. Fucking hell. Imagine if one of them fell off the top shelf, it'd kill a small child. That's the key, we got the key, we're going. And now we've just got a series of rooms like this. And Filch being the dick that he is. The North remembers, goddammit! He catches up with us at regular intervals. I think we've got to watch out for his cat as well. Why are you sneaking, Harry? I mean, well, I suppose yes, not to make any noise. What is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. It's fucking but we Ron have Weasley. ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans, can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Oh, they are really trying to make Snape seem like an absolutely... An utterly psychotic arsehole, but I don't know what he's on about there. Extreme measures, what's he gonna do? It's a bit uh, a bit nasty if you ask me. Right. Oh guys, what do we do? How do we get out of this room with no exit? I guess we'll just have to go back. There's no way we can figure this out. Or, you know, we could just follow Snape. So that's what we're gonna do. Alright, what have we got here then? Bloody spiders everywhere, it's ridiculous. 
Filch, shouldn't you be getting rid of those? What is your job? Oh, and there's bloody Mrs. Norris. Oh, she's actually guarding the, uh... The invisibility cloak. <laughs> Little fucking bastard. Right, gotta be quick here. Get the key. And fuck off. Dun, 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 dun. Impressive, Harry. Right, on to the next room. Yeah, this this was a particularly memorable sequence for me because I was well into stealth. Obviously, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan. Uh, I remember struggling with it a little bit though, back in the day. Don't know why those spiders really seriously. What is up with them? Why are they so agile? Mrs. Norris is down below, so... Where are we going here? Aha. Alright, seems fairly simple. We're gonna have to be quick, though. Although I get... I think these do actually respawn, so we might not have to rush quite as much. Don't land on Mrs. Norris. As much as I'd like to stomp on her. Stop hissing at me. Right. Yeah, in fact, we'll wait and see if this thing... Well, we have to... Oh my god! Harry! Well, well, well. We are in trouble now, aren't we? Mm, I hope this dude got paid, because he basically does every voice in the game, which I, you know, I've come to realise, apart from, obviously, uh, the kids and the females. Pretty sure he did Dumbledore, Filch, Snape, Quirrell. We're right back at the bastard beginning. Uh, oh, but we already have the key, though. Ooh, keep on doing that. Yeah, the door's already... So it doesn't actually lock the doors. He just sends you back to the beginning and just expects that you won't try again. Not very, uh... Well, <laughs> made it seem like the consequences for failing would be dire. Not quite so. Not even a slap on the wrist. What am I doing? Didn't need to do that, did I? Come on, Potter. Really can't get over how big those books are. I mean, it, ooh, it's almost as if they contain all the ways I have fucked up in this playthrough so far. Oh, for fuck's sake, Mrs. Norris! Yes. Oh. Scratchy little scrotum. Fuzzy little tit knob. I might, I might kick her now. She'd piss me off. This is bloody Norris. Go on, go on, Walder. Haven't you got a wedding to ruin? Can you, can you piss off? It's a good job you can't see, like, two feet above him. Alright, speedy Gonzalez job. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. Oh, the things I would do with an invisibility cloak. Oh, yes. <sighs> it's funny, though, because... In, in stuff like this, you know, the, the kids never do dirty stuff. Oh, I'm gonna minute. Am I gonna get chance? No, I'm gonna. I'm, oh, I probably could have grabbed it there, but oh well. What? You have the eyesight. Oh, oh the Intruder. cat. Intruder! I can't believe I'm fucking this up so badly. Mrs. Norris, you can eat a dick. God, I can't. I. This is why I struggled back in the day. This is exactly why. Because. Oh, Harry, you took such a risk there. But it paid off. Okay. Oh, I did it again! I did it again! Stop doing that, mage! Unnecessary. Time wasting. Alright. We will do this. I swear to God. Because I'm going to do a save state. Right, she's facing that way. So let's uh, sneak up on the little shite. What? I got too close this time! Fuck, Harry! Alright, keep your distance. That cat's fucking psychic. Ha! Eat shit. I wish I could slap Filch as well, or Felch. I'm calling Felch from now on. Felch and his mystical bollock cat. Right, let's do this again, shall we? So we still got the key. Harry! What are you doing, boy? 
Jesus, why can't you make that jump? Bloody ridiculous. See? Piece of piss, wasn't it? Right, excuse me, Filch. Felch. Excuse me. Don't mind this mysteriously unlocking door in front of your eyes. It's probably nothing. You cheat. That bookcase keeps twatting him while he's walking through it, though. Maybe that's why all the characters' faces look messed up. Oh, God. I don't know where Filch is. Where's the key? That's the question. Oh, over there, right. Let's be quick now. Quickly, quickly. No time to dilly dally. Screw you, Filch. I'm a big fan of the actor that played him, though. Uh, is it David Bradley? I might be getting his name wrong. Um, ooh. Could be something of a slightly fluffy persuasion that way. I think a mate of mine actually saw him in a pub in London and had a pint, like, pretty close to him, but didn't have the balls to talk to him. Ooh. Oh, it's the mirror that would show me Scarlett Johansson. In a state of undress. If you don't know what that mirror does, it'll become clear now what that joke actually was. <laughs> oh, back of the book. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. Yeah, Dumbledore, can, can't you just, like, tell me what's going on? Why do you have to be so cryptic and mystical? Uh, whoa! Harry! A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Wait, what? Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Wait a minute! Wait, so... Hang on! If I had just done what I usually do on a Wednesday evening and stayed, you know, in the girls' bathroom, for no reason really, just I like the place, I could have had a nice shortcut to this place and I wouldn't have had to do all the sneaking. What is all that about? And now I have my invisibility cloak, I wouldn't have been, you know, discovered. Damn it. Alright, well, Ron, apparently, is, uh, is concerned about Hermione, so let's go. Let's eat the, all the frogs we can. Well, that certainly sounds a little bit bigger than the trolls we've seen so far. I'm not liking this. And I really don't remember this part of the game. I remember the... There's a, I think there's like a boss fight, but... Was that a cat meowing then? Alright, another save state job. Let's go. The girls' bathroom. <laughs> God. Oh my god. Harry, you distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. Wait, what? What? Ron's act well, Ron's actually doing something. Look at him. Why is he so fast? Oh right, okay, beans. We want to be getting as many beans as possible here. Don't want to be missing any. If I can help it. Harry Potter and the Crash Bandicoot sequence. Tell you what, for uh, someone that's carrying, well, he's carrying a bit of timber as the lad. For someone his size, he can't, ah, oh, fucking shift. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, oh, god damn, the torches. 
This is a very long fucking corridor to the girl's bathroom. I thought... But I thought... Oh shit! Fuck! Why is... Yeah, why is the random pools of flobber mucus? Oh, game over. And we, oh, we're all, we're all fixed up in the inf infirmary. That's alright. But yeah, sure... Like, what is this corridor? Oh, fuck's sake. We have to do it again. Where the beans were. Ow. Early hits. Always fun. Oh, he's pissed. Whoop. What kind of sadistic bastard made the girls' bathroom at the end of this very long corridor? If you need a whiz, and you're of the female persuasion, you're just not going to make it, are you? What if you're absolutely bursting? Oh shit! Don't be jumping unnecessarily, Harry. Come on now. Nearly there. I hope. Which bit did I die on? Oh! Get those beans! Why are they placed in such awkward positions? Ooh! Bum bum bum! Bum bum bum! Bum bum bum! bum. Do, 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 do. Harry Potter. Oh fuck, I missed a bean. Don't miss any more. We need six more for 100. Come on. Three more. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yeah, we got 100, baby. Oh, and a uh, bit of insurance. This is a stupidly long corridor. Why does this exist? And yeah, it is just the girl's bathroom at the end of it. What the fuck? And this tro that bollocks, Ron. That troll was not cornering Hermione here. Obviously, it was like miles away from her. This is a huge bathroom. Are you all right, Hermione? Oh fuck. Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. Oh, he's lobbing toilets at us. Seriously. Alright, at least Ron is doing something though. Whoa! Shit in hell. Don't want any of those to hit us. Bloody, that's a whole toilet, man! That is. That's redonkulous! Come on, Ron, hurry up! I don't want to get twatted in the face with a latrine. If I can help. Oh! Nah, I don't give a shit about Ron. <laughs> oh shit, sorry, dude, I missed. Definitely tried though. Whoops, what a shit. Oh no, I really should try and save him. Oh my god, the aiming is ridiculous! I'll save you, I'll save you, Ron. There we go, see? Looking out for you. You're my best mate. Whoops. Bit too late on that one. There we go. Where the fuck up? And that's it. Wow! Did you see that? <laughs> nice, sir. Uh, thank you, boys. What kind of a gimpy clap was that, Hermione? Yeah, he was much bigger than the other trolls we've seen. Oh, imagine getting... I mean, I do kind of feel sorry for Ron. That was a lot of uh, porcelain that met his uh, cranium, wasn't it? Ooh, audio glitch. We got a letter. Mr. Potter, Hogwarts second Quidditch match of the year oh, no. is about to begin. No. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. No. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. It's a bit bloody short notice. I'm sorry, but what if I've got the shits? What if I've got a nasty case of the, uh, you know, of the runs? What what happens then? Do you just not have a seeker for the game? Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Rain no, it's not. Is a fine team. It's going to suck. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chap I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the. Uh... Guard the what? Don't. Oh, ask I shouldn't me have said anymore. that. That's top secret. That is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between <laughs> Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind. Well, you shouldn't have said that. Off. You're you supposed to say the lines, Hagrid. The match is about to start. 
I don't give a shit about Quidditch. Someone's broken the door. It's in half. Oh, Ravenclaw. Great stuff. Welcome to Quidditch! It's Lee Jordan! Woo! Fuck all this shit. Why are you telling me the rules again? Why do you have to re reiterate the rules every time we play Quidditch? Here comes Potter! Here comes Potter! Whee! This is on his new snazzy broomstick that's going to make this fucking a nut just the worst ever. Well, we're not beating the three and a half seconds that that dude did. Is that the snitch? Alright. Potter's seen the snitch. Potter's seen the snitch. He's on its tre. Oh, fancy. Yeah! Yeah! Let's get this bloody thing caught. Oh my god, I've missed a ring already. Yep, slowly. I hope that armor that we got is gonna help us in this if I get battered. Alright, so far so good actually. Oh no, as soon as I said that, as soon as I said that, I missed two rings. Oh. Oh. Boo! Hey! Bloody ref! He touched me. Quidditch is a non contact sport. Alright? That's bullshit. Oh my god, Harry! What the fuck are you doing? Why are you flying so bloody erratically now? Oh my god! Harry! What are you doing? Jesus H. Fuck, man! We're never gonna catch this thing now! Come on! I don't know if you can lose Quidditch, but I guess you can, so come on, we don't want to miss this. There's some points to be had. We need to catch up to Slither shits. Ooh! So close! So close! Fuck! Come on! Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on, you bastard! Catch the fucking thing! Oh my god! Yes! Alright. Oh shit, I missed the easy bit. Uh, yoink. Ooh, whoop. Well done, Harry. Yay, look at all the cast. They're cheering for... Oh, yay. Attention, praise. We love it. Oh, I hate Quidditch so much. It... <laughs> I don't know what happened. As soon as the other seeker turned up, my flying went to shit. I got some bad news, Harry. Oh, no. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, and there aren't any in the castle. So you and I <sighs> must go to Diagon Alley to get them. What? Is that allowed? Are we allowed to just ditch school? I thought... Wait a minute. Yeah, we're at Diagon Alley. Oh, the bloody bank. I'm dreading that place, guys. If I remember correctly, this whole segment of the game is pretty difficult. Look, there is random students running around Diagon Alley. Why are they allowed to do that? We need three peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. Ugh. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some Canuts, Sickles, and Galleons. Grip Hook will see you right. I'm off to the Leaky Cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. What? I'll meet you when you're all done. What? Wait a minute. So, for one thing, right, you're taking me out of school without a signed permission slip. Okay? Second of all, I'm the one that's going to have to go get money to pay for all this shit that you need. And third of all... I'm the one going around to get the fucking items while you're off the pub getting pissed. Hagrid. Dude. You're my spirit animal, man. I love it. It's great. That's what I'd do. Send the student to do the dirty work. Yeah. Alright. So, we need money first before we go in any of these shops. Uh, we'll need to... When we go back to Hogwarts, remind me to check out the upper castle again to get the uh, the final reward from the Weasley twats. Right, so that's the bank. Oh, I can't. I don't want to do this next bit. Harry Potter, Ugh. stay well away from here. That is Nocturne Alley. The shops down there deal only in the dark arts. 
Now run along before I turn you into a vole. That's not very bloody nice. Who, do, who are you? I mean, I guess everyone knows who I am because, you know, the boy who lived and all that shit. Lightning Scar kind of gives it away, but still. I want to go down Nocturne Alley. It sounds cool. Right. Anyway, uh, I'll probably leave it there for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope, uh, I hope this next bit goes well. I remember it being such a pain in the dick. I really do. Ugh. Anyway, look forward to that. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.